Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use a small function in Excel. The Excel small function returns the kth smallest value from an array or a range of numerical value. So let's see how small function works in Excel. Here we have a sample data set from A8 to G12 and we'll enter the function here from A14 to G14. So we type small function here in cell A14 first, then we tap to auto complete the function small takes two arguments we have first argument is an array and the second is kth value kth is an integer that specifies the position from the smallest value to return in the array so we select a8 to a12 as an array in the first argument and we ask function to return the first smallest value so we enter one in the second argument and now we close the parenthesis and we hit enter it gives us one because one is the smallest value in this list of numbers. Okay. Now we type small function here in cell B14 and we select B8 to B12 as a data range. In the second argument, this time we ask function to return the second smallest value from this range. So we enter two in this argument, then we hit enter. And this time function returned the second smallest value from the provided range, which is five minutes in this case. In the third example, we'll see what happens if any cell in the array contains text in it. So we type small function here in cell C14 and we select C8 to C12 where C11 contains some text. Now we enter one as a kth value and we hit enter. It still gives and returns the first smallest value from the list of numbers. It is because the function would ignore the cells which contains text and consider cells that contains number value only and in this case it returned 4 which is the smallest value in this range. If there is a range which contains an empty cell the function would ignore that too and will only consider the numbers value and return the smallest value as per the kth number provided. So we select D8 to D12 where D11 is an empty cell and we tell function to return the second smallest value from the enter range and as we hit enter we get 3 as an answer which is the second smallest value in this range. In the next example we'll see what happens if we enter kth value 0 or larger than the number of data points in array. So we type small function here and then we select E8 to E12 as an array and now we'll enter 0 as kth number and we hit enter. And function return number error. It is because the kth value should be above 0 or else it will return number error. And when we enter the kth value greater than the number of data points in array, say 7 in this case as there are 5 data points in this array, then also the function would return number error. Now we go to F14 and type small function here and select F8 to F12 as an array which is empty in this case and then we enter 1 in the second argument and we hit enter. It returned the number error again because both arguments are must required and cannot be empty which is why the function returned an error here. In the last example, we'll see what happens if there's an error value in the array or the data sets which we will take in the first argument. So type small function here in G14 and we take G8 to G12 range in the first argument where G10 has any error and we ask function to return the first smallest value from the range and then we hit enter and function returns the any error because there is any error in the range and function does not allow any error value. So this is how small function work and we can make use of it in different situations. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.